Good morning, beautiful. Good morning, beautiful uh, people, beautiful souls, beautiful spirits. Uh, someone uh, posted that in a telegram room on yesterday, so uh, I thought I would borrow that. Uh, I, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so excited uh, about these transformational nuggets, so excited about uh, the uh, transformational uh, Zooms um, that we will be doing, um, at, starting with last night's. Which was absolutely phenomenal, um, and and last night we began to uh, hear about the four pillars of faith or the four principles of faith. I'm, I I put pillars here to kind of represent the four principles of faith. Uh, I believe that a principle is an eternal truth. It was here before we got here. It'll be here long after uh, we're gone. So these four principles of faith, principle number one, gratitude, gratitude, you know, the surest way to get out of negativity, you know, we're all going to have uh, intrusive thoughts, okay, the surest way to quickly get away from intrusive thoughts is to get into gratitude, to get into uh, thankfulness. The other day, uh, I'm driving and I hit something. All right. And I get my air pressure, uh, uh, uh reading and it's really, really low. Okay. Uh, I'm on uh, the highway. Well, I was in gratitude. I was in gratitude because I got that air pressure reading. Um, I was able to uh, get off the highway, not in any harm's way. I was able to uh, get some air. I knew I was likely going to have to have it plugged or uh, uh, have to get a new tire. Um, and I was just in gratitude. Oh, I want you know, my daughter is supposed to be picked up by a certain time. And that whole time, instead of me fretting, instead of me worrying about it, I was just in gratitude that I'm safe. I'm going to pick her up. I'm going to uh, pick her up safely. We're going to get to the house safely. We're going to be just fine. And guess what? All of that happened. All right. But I was flowing in and emitting gratitude. Gratitude's going to help eliminate stress. It rewires our brain. It gets us to a higher uh, a level of frequency. It gets us flowing in and emitting God energy. Number two, number two principle. All right. This is the blueprint, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Napoleon Hill in his landmark book, Think and Grow Rich, he said, whatever the mind can conceive and believe you can achieve. Well, Napoleon Hill didn't just come up with that. Um, that's in the scriptures. And it says it like this, write the vision, make it plain, write the vision, make it plain. So it's not enough. Let's say we're in the, uh, make money online niche. We want to make some money. It's not enough to say, ooh, I want to make some money, all right? It's not enough to say, ooh, uh, you know, I want to make $100,000, all right? Now, that's a start, but what are you going to do with that? Let's make it plain, all right? So if you're saying, well, I want to make money so that I can get out of debt, well, let's make that plain. You know, how much debt are we talking about? Uh, what is the monthly outlay or the annual outlay to satisfy that debt. But well, now all of a sudden you're making it plain, okay? Uh, I know someone, they want to build orphanages, okay? So they've made that plain. Uh, they know the amount of money that they want to accumulate, all right, to be able to uh, uh, set up these various or orphanages. So it's not just enough just to go through life, uh, come see, come saw, uh, whatever happens, happens. Well, that's been the challenge, right? No, we want to design our lives. We have godness in us, every single one of us. We've got godness in us. Let's design our lives, write the vision, make it plain. Now, I'm going to use the getting out of debt uh, uh, analogy. All right. So let's say you say, okay, one of, now this isn't the only vision. Uh, this isn't the only one, but all right, want to get out of debt. Okay. So uh, how much debt uh, uh, are you in? Uh, what would it take to get out of debt? Then 
Number three, surround yourself with the feelings and the emotions of what it feels like for your vision to come to fruition. Feel that. Let it get in your heart. Let it get in your heart. Spend some time every day closing your eyes. One of my mentors taught me this. He said every day, and he would do this. His name is William. He would do this. He would sit back. I would, I would go by his office. We were doing business together, and I would see him doing like this. And what he was doing is he was closing his eyes, and he was stepping into his future. Because he had written the vision, made it plain, he was stepping into his future, and then he was imagining what that feeling would be like to uh, uh, have attained what his vision was. He was surrounding himself with the feeling, what does that feel like? Getting it into his heart writing the vision, making it plain. But here's the other thing is that now that it starts to get into our heart and we start to feel it, we start to feel it. Okay. We start to activate this faith. Now we start to speak it. We start to affirm. We start to make firm that which was infirm. Do I say that? Or or, unfirm or wasn't firm before? Okay, Uh, affirmations, all right, calling those things that are not as though they were. So these are the principles. These are the four principles of faith, the four pillars of faith that we can apply to any and every area that we want to transform in our lives, our financial lives our relationships, uh, starting with me, you know, the relationship I have with me, the relationship I have with my children, writing that vision, making it plain. I want my relationship to be like this, uh, uh, taking some time and really seeing what does that feel like? What does that look like? Uh, 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 a Sunday dinner or uh, um, vacationing with, uh, with with my children, you know, being on the cruise uh, with my children. But what does that feel like? And then uh, beginning to affirm it, beginning to affirm it. All right. So gratitude, the blueprint, right? The vision, make it plain. Surrounding myself yourself, ourselves with the feeling of what is that going to feel like? Matter of fact, what does it feel like? Because I'm already there. I'm already there. I have godness in me. I'm already there. I'm debt free. Ooh, what does that feel like? To have that uh, uh, that uh, monthly cash flow that now is going out for debt. What does that feel like not to have any debt? What does that feel like in terms of what I can do in spending more time with the people that I love? Uh, if you have grandchildren, you know, being able to spend more time with your grandchildren and not stressing out over the money and how am I going to do this? And or somebody may need something and they need a hand up and man, I can I can respond to that. That's not a problem. What does that feel like? And now affirming. Now affirming, calling those things that are not as though they are, because in my feeling, they already are. In my vision, they already are. And then operating in gratitude. Gratitude. Looking over at my time. Okay. Gratitude, the blueprint, feeling, and affirmation. This has been your transformational nugget. Let's transform the world together, starting with mine, starting with yours.